Hey gang, Wes Schlag here with The Hustle, reporting on the biggest biz news of the day. And boy, do I have some stories for you. Last week, So Far Sounds, a middleman for in-home music gigs around the world, raised $25 million. You mean living room jam sessions? Very chill. That is unless you're the musician. Reports show that So Far, a self-proclaimed local artist ally, generally pays bands $100 per show pocketing the remaining one to 2,000 from ticket sales. First record companies, then Spotify, now this? By the milky skin of Ed Sheeran, is there no one who's willing to actually support up and coming artists? Sorry. In today's streaming age, musicians rely heavily on live performances for earnings. Because let's face it, unless you're Drake, nobody's making money from Spotify. And so far is also paying peanuts, while simultaneously pulling viewers away from the higher paying venues. So far CEO Jim Lucchesi justifies it by explaining that artist payout largely comes in the form of exposure. Hmm. Now on to TV. Turns out cancel culture's a thing, and streaming platforms are looking for a fix. It's been a little over a week since everyone's favorite dragon show didn't do the thing that everyone wanted it to do in the way that they all wanted it to be done. But as it turns out, whether Game of Thrones failed or managed to please every mother-loving dragon tamer west of King's Landing, HBO was still going to see a potential drop-off in subscribers after the series finale. After Game of Thrones ended, 16% of HBO subscribers said they planned to cancel their service. And HBO isn't alone. Axios reports that once viewers' favorite shows end, they're 30% more likely to cancel their subscriptions. Ah, the classic binge and bounce. Guilty. And now subscription services are getting creative. Hulu's offering bundle subscriptions with Spotify Premium, and Amazon, HBO, and Netflix are heavily promoting their primetime shows to keep people around. But enough about music and television. Now for something a little more... boring? Elon Musk's hole-digging venture, The Boring Company, recently landed its first ever commercial contract, a $48.7 million project to shuttle people around the Las Vegas Convention Center in an underground loop system powered by Teslas. But when it comes to employing Musk and the old gang, Vegas is definitely hedging its bets. Hmm. Could it be because the only results anyone has ever seen from the company is 20,000 flamethrowers they randomly built and conned fans into buying? Who's to say? The campus-wide people mover is expected to span close to 200 acres around the convention center once complete. Of course, with Elon Musk's track record of missing deadlines, the 48 million plus is a big gamble for the city. And Vegas knows it. The contract is jammed with fine print to keep the company and its fearless leader on track. The contract withholds over two-thirds of payments until construction's complete and specifies penalties of a whopping 300,000 per instance should the system fail to accommodate enough passengers. Fortunately, the Vegas loop's less than a mile, so should be doable, right? With Musk, you honestly never know. Last month, a 505-page report revealed that Boring's proposal for a DC area tunnel was riddled with safety issues. And that does it for today, folks. Be sure to tune in to Newsy this Thursday at 1 p.m. Eastern for more of the Hustle Rundown. And make sure to sign up for the Hustle newsletter at thehustle.co for your daily dose of stories exactly like these. Okay, heading off to my in-defense of GOT support group. Bye-bye!